Yeah. But what you did, you there. And then basically look three times. Hello everyone, uh, this is Raja here from A Corner School of Motoring. Uh, we have um, Derry today. Hello oh, Derry, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Good. Uh, Derry is an experienced driver. Uh, he come to me, uh, he had one lesson and today we're doing his mock test and his test coming up soon as well. So uh, let's see how um, Derry do. So are you ready for it? Yeah. Now you know the drill. So we're going to be following the satellite navigation. If the satellite navigation give you no instructions, you always be following the road ahead. Uh, during your driving lessons, I'm going to make you park your car a couple of times on the left and I will ask you to move off. I will also going to do one maneuver with you and if we get a chance, we do the emergency braking as well. Also, we're going to do a show me question and a tell me question as well. Okay. Yeah. Now, I'm going to ask you tell me question now. So, tell me how can you adjust your head strength and why do you do that? Okay. So Just tell me. You don't need to show me. Yeah. By either pulling the head strength up or pulling it down. And it's good so that if you, the back of your head is at the center of the air strain, uh, in case of uh, emergency, in case the uh, airbags pull off your your head, we have a better um, place to rest. Good, perfect. Okay, so um, we're gonna drive from here, and uh, I'm gonna behave like an examiner now. Okay, so whenever you're ready, I would like you to drive off, please, for me. All right. In this clip, uh, as you can see, that uh, the timing of signal is not correct. Uh, the left turning was after the bridge, uh, but Jere uh, signaled slightly early. Uh, there were uh, a utility store over there, and uh, it may cause other people to think that he may be going into the car park. So make sure that whenever you are signaling, your timing of your signal have to be correct and uh, you need to be 100 percent make sure there's no other left or right turnings uh, before your turning comes up so timing of your signal is very important otherwise it may mislead 
other road users who may be coming out from the side road, they presume that you're going to be turning left or right. So timing of signal have to be correct. After 200 yards, turn left. When you feel safe, I would like you to park your car anywhere to the left, please. Thank you, and then drive off again whenever it's safe to do so, please. Left on the roundabout, first exit. Okay, now I would like you to park where that left tree is, please. Someone near that tree, please. Okay, so we are going to do a maneuver. So I would like you to do the parallel reverse parking using that yellow van over there. So parked up side by side, reverse back. Now there is a driver there. I don't mind if you block the driver only okay. for the maneuver. Okay, so don't worry about that. I'm giving you a transition, it's perfectly fine. So whenever you're ready, we're going to use that car please at the van there and we're going to do the parallel parking place whenever you're ready. You can see in this clip that uh, Derry did a good parallel parking, but uh, he lost the control at the end. So he had to go uh, forward and reverse to adjust the car. Uh, this will be a minor fault uh, in uh, any test. So make sure guys, whenever you're doing your maneuvers, try to complete in one go. If you have to readjust your car, it will classify it as a minor mistake, depending on the situation.
Have we done? Yeah. Okay, so drive off again whenever you're safe to do so and you start following the satellite navigation, please, okay? Okay. Once the rail left uh, f from the side road to the major road, it's 30 miles per hour road. Uh, he took his time to make progress. Now it's very important if the road is clear and there is no hazard ahead of you, uh, it's important to make progress fairly quickly. Make sure that once you join, try to go to 28, 29 miles per hour. If you're going to take your time, chances are somebody behind you may try to overtake you. If they do, then examiner may give you serious fault. In this scenario, uh, I give him the minor fault. Turn left. After 200 yards, go right on the roundabout, second exit. And this clip is an open view mini roundabout. As you're approaching, uh, there was a one white car went from the right and there was no car behind. Uh, what uh, Dere should have done, he should have checked left once and then he should have went. Now he checked a couple of times, he was hesitating a little bit. Depending on the exams, uh, it will classify it as a minor. Now if you keep hesitating on the same scenarios, it may become a serious fault as well. So make sure guys, once you are doing uh, good observation, once you know nobody is coming uh, and uh, you need to make sure they react quickly and you can turn as well.
After 300 yards, turn right. Derry is turning right at the traffic light at the crossroad junction. Uh, now the correct procedure is that if you're turning right, you need to be in the middle lane. Uh, Derry turn right using the left lane. Now there were, uh, if there were any car behind, uh, they could have hit uh, you from the back. So it's very important that whenever you're turning right, you need to use a correct lane. In this situation, uh, the lane markings are slightly fade off, unfortunately. But still, uh, there is no excuse for not knowing any local awareness or local knowledge. So whenever you're turning right, you need to use the correct lane. Uh, in this instance, uh, this will classify it as a serious fault. After 300 yards, turn right. It says turn right after 300 yards. You're not turning right, you're simply following the road. Okay. After 200 yards, turn right. Turn right. After 200 yards, go left on the roundabout, first exit. Go left on the roundabout, first exit. After 400 yards, turn left, then go right on the roundabout. Go right on the roundabout. Yards go right on the roundabout, fourth exit. 
towards services please fourth exit towards services So this is your mock test finish over here. Thank you. Right, <laughs> don't look at it. <laughs> How do you think you did? I don't know. I think I tried. <laughs> you tried, okay. It was a lovely drive. Um, you just need to make sure that I feel some occasions where you could have made progress, but you were too cautious. You don't want to be too cautious though, yeah? <laughs> Obviously, okay. because it depends on the situation. For example, today the road was slightly emptier. So if the road is clear, or if you just join a new road, check your mirrors and get going. Sometime when you join a new road, it took you a while to go to 30. You need to make sure that progress gradually and progressively. Right, I'm gonna go through with your mistakes one by one so you will understand, okay? Now your first minor mistake was that uh, at the traffic light, so roundabout you turn left M65, then you turn right. No, let's start again. Let me give you the advice first. Do you know when you turn left at the major roundabout M65 and then they ask you to turn right at the traffic light? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. You got two lanes over there. Yeah. Now that junction, examiners are happy for you to change your lane to the right. And when you're turning right, keep your car to the right. So you don't need to merge. What you did, you kept your car to the left lane. You turn left, you're in the left lane, and you merge from there. Yeah. Perfectly fine. You did check your mirrors, you signal, everything was spot on. But on that junction, anybody watching this, guys, you're allowed to keep to the right on that junction. Use the right lane, turn right, keep to the right, because it's merging. But when you turn right, if you're in the right lane, you check your left mirror. What you did is also perfectly fine. Okay. No problem. That's, that's just an advice for you, okay? okay? Now, your first minor, so once you turn right, then the top don't say to you, after 400 yards, turn, turn left. left. When you're turning left, there was a supermarket, small supermarket on the left over there, and it has got a car park there. You signal, but you signal a bit earlier, as if you are turning into the supermarket. Okay. Okay. So luckily, nobody was coming out. If somebody would have been coming out, they would have seen your signal, they think you're going in, yes, and they would have pulled out on you. So I'm giving you minor fault for timing of your signal. But <laughs> other advice to you is, once you turn left, twice this has happened, try to follow the left curb. I'm not saying go too close, but enough, what you're doing when you're turning, you're going slightly wider. We don't want to be going too wider. I know you're thinking about you're going to hit the curb exactly, already. Exactly, I don't see No, the... <laughs> but again, you, because you're going too wide, you're getting too close to the oncoming cars there, yeah? yeah? Yeah, Now, once you turn left over there, we're going up on the hill. That road is 30 miles per hour road. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and well, what speed you were doing? 
I was in around 20 something. But I know then, that it's 30, yeah. you understand, but at times you can't see what is ahead of you because it's a, it's, a, it's, a, um, it's a steep road, you understand? So, and it's quite narrow. So I don't want to do 30 can when I, give I can't you a big see. surprise? Just three years ago, not two, three years ago, that road was national speed limit. <laughs> and our learners used to do 50 over there, 50 plus. Wow. So, so 30 is, you can do 30. Yes, there's a sharp bend over there. You can slow down, but on that sharp bend, you slow down around 15. That bit too low over there as well. You could do 20. You are a very, very good driver. You, you can easily do 25, 24 over there. Okay, so as long as you're in control, do it. I'm not giving you any mana, whatever it is. I'm just advising you. If you can, do it. Enjoy your driving. Yeah. Okay, so now another advice to you is that uh, there were two roundabouts so the first mini roundabout you did very well the next roundabout you're supposed to be turning left you reacted slightly late your signal left a bit too late on the last minute yeah there was no car behind us it's fine yeah but uh, what if there was any car behind you yeah i know i know okay so um that particular place once you i think is it turn left Tom Tom is always slow to tell you to turn left. That is why the so examiner is there. That so means you can see. glance it, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, you can yeah. see the blue line. So you can see the Tom Tom as well. So as you're turning, you can plan early as yeah. well, though. Yeah? yeah. So it's important. Please, 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 it's important to, to plan early. So uh, I'm giving you minor for that. Okay? For uh, late signaling. Because obviously, if there was any car behind you, it would have been a big problem for you. Maneuver. Excellent, you did very well, but I'm giving you a minor fault. I will tell you why. When you did your maneuver, the whole point is that you need to complete your maneuver in one go. So, on your maneuver, make sure that when you're reversing, you need to complete in one reverse. If you go forward and reverse back, that means you lost your control, and examiner will um, mark you down for that. So, you have to go forward and come back, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, just trying to make sure that I position well. Yeah, so you need to do it while you're going back. Do you understand? Yeah. Okay. Um, the other one is progress. Uh, no. So before that, once you start moving, at one occasion, there was a big trailer park on the left over here. And you can see there was a car coming. It was a meeting situation was developing. You knew it's coming, you knew it's his road because but then there was a trailer there and you have enough gap. If you would have seen that, you could have gone into the gap nice and early and you stop stop at least one car length before, or at least half a car. Now you reacted a bit late and when you stopped, you were quite close to the, that trailer. Remember that? Yeah. Is that acceptable? No. <laughs> You did not cause any problem. You did actually, when you pulled out, you did give yourself one meter. Ideally, what you should have done, hold back a little bit. So my advice is, ma'am, my advice to you is that stop at least half of one color, maybe be minor fault, only because you stopped too close there, yeah? Once you turn left into the major road over there, same thing again. You join a new road, everything was perfect, but then you have checked your mirrors, you took still slightly time to progress. So gradually start making progress as well. What you don't want is somebody else start overtaking you and you get CS fault, okay? So, will be minor fault. So, everything's so good. There was a mini roundabout right after the bridge and you were turning right, second exit. Look to the right, nobody was coming. You look to the left and you got what they're doing. Yeah, I was, I was trying to react in case the get on the uh, the road first so that i can stop for them so you have looked once twice three times but once you have you are they gonna go they're gonna go over there yeah they they, they later stopped they stopped isn't there but yeah. they should give you the way so what you should have done then should have reacted and gone go yeah but what you did you there and then basically you look three times over there isn't there once you see the right because there was no ahead road nobody was coming glance and go you don't want to be over thinking about it remember driving should become a second nature for you so you can react quickly as well okay yeah so good thing you looked over there once is more than enough okay 
you only have one CS pod, unfortunately. Okay. So you did use your bus lane over there. Perfect. Very good. Yeah. You did actually check your mirror there because the bus lane was merging. Very good. At the traffic light, the TomTom -tom give you nice and early. You're going to be turning early. You're going to be turning right. Single lane is becoming two. The left lane is for the left turning or going ahead. Yeah. There was some chicane lane there like this. And then it will become two. Yeah. What you should have done after this chicane lane, you should have checked your mirror to the right and should have gone into the this lane to go to the right. Yeah, I saw it too, but <laughs> no excuse. That's I know it, like it's a, I know road map, but this is where the local knowledge comes in. Yeah. Yeah. But what you did, okay, what you did, you use the left lane there, you turn right. My question is, when you're turning right, if you would have checked your mirrors before you turn, just in case of what if somebody else coming in? You did not even check your mirror just before you turn in because you're in a left lane. How can you do that? Just imagine for one minute that I am I'm a learner who's doing the right turning and then you are behind me using the correct lane. Now I'm going to start turning right from the left lane and you are also using the correct lane to turn right. Are you going to be happy? You're not going to be happy, is it? Because I'm going to have to slow down. So that will be a problem. And as you turn right, you lost your control a little bit. You went too much on the right side. You should have been more to the left side. You will see in a video camera as well. When I turned right. Yes, you went too much near to the... So when you're turning right, so this is a curb, the left curb over there. This is their road here. As you turn right, you should have been near to the left side here. Yeah? But when you turn right, you went and then you went near to the center white line. Okay. You, left curb is belongs to us. We only go to the, this side if there was any car or any hazard over there. was nothing there. Okay? I'm giving you CS4 for this one and obviously you lose your control a little bit over there. Okay? okay. I'm not harsh, but this is the reality unfortunately. Okay? Yeah. Um, I did actually say to you at one occasion that Tom Tom said to you, you're turning right. And I said to you, no, you're not turning right. You're following the road, but you signal to the right. You don't need to signal right when you're following the road. It's just an advice. Nothing there, but just, you don't need to signal when you're following the road. Okay. Now what happened there? Then after that, there was a traffic light and the Tom Tom says, turn right. And two lanes, single lane become two. Yeah. Which lane should have been using, which one lane we should be using? The right one or the the left one? The left one. How many arrows were there on that left lane? Yes, I don't see that <laughs> that arrow that it can it can it goes like this. Yeah. I don't see that there on time. But you went on that one. Yeah, because that one was like at least I'm, I'm so sure that, that one is the legally right which lane we should be using then technically. The left one. Now I'm not giving you nothing at all. It's not a mistake what you just Okay, guys, so um, that's the mock test today. Uh, very good driving. Um, I'm sure he will be fine for the test. But I hope you will also enjoy uh, today's uh, mock test video. Uh, that's it for me and uh, Dure today. I uh, will see you guys on the next mock test. Take care yourself.